To demonstrate importing to Unreal Engine 4, I'll be using the Shagbark Hickory Hero model. So I'm going to start off by quickly checking a few things on my model to make sure it's ready to export. So first I'm going to check to see if my wind still looks right. I'm going to do that by clicking the wind icon and I've already set my parameters for the wind. I have it set to best. So all I have to do is enable the wind and see if it still moves all right. Next, I'm going to check my level of detail. You can set or change your LOD by going to the global properties and then going to the dynamic LOD group. I'm just going to check the transition by scrubbing through the LODs, taking note of the changes to the tree's profile and structure. And now I'm going to check my light map. So I'm going to go to the property bar, select show and switch to my light map mode. As you can see, here's a tree. It's in green, which means it's OK. And also my light map seems to be filled out really nicely. Since everything's OK, I'm now going to export my model. I do this by going to File, then selecting my Export to Unreal Engine 4 option. We'll save in my UE4 project folder. Once you hit Save, your export window will appear. You'll notice you have a lot of different export options, such as LOD, Atlas, texture sizes. I want to make sure that my Atlas is set to non-wrapping, then hit OK. So now I'm going to show you how to import the speech tree asset into UE4. For demoing purposes, I already have a level created in UE4 with all the lighting and the wind set up. To import my speech tree asset, I want to go to the content browser and click the import button. The window browser will appear and you'll see all the files that I exported from the speech tree modeler. So I'm just going to select the ST file and the speech tree options window will pop up. Here, I want to include collision, enable creating materials, include subsurface, and I also want to include vertex processing. This basically means I'm including the wind data. OK, now you have two options. You can either paint the vegetation by going and adding a foliage type, or you can just drag and drop it into the scene, which is the approach I'll be taking for this video. And here's our tree in the UE4 scene. Now I'm just going to get a little closer to the tree so I can see how the textures look. Everything seems to be looking good. So now I'm going to go back to the speed tree modeler and I'm going to show you how to export a tree so it has one draw call. Setting a tree up to be one draw call is best used for background and filler trees, since there will be a loss of resolution. For all your branch generators, you want to go to UV mapping and you want to make sure that your U is set to tile once or twice. You can also change the style to U locked and V unrestricted. Everything's looking good. Now the next thing I need to change is my wind preset. I can do that by clicking the fan icon and I want to make sure the wind set is set to fastest instead of best or palm. Now I'm just going to go back to file, export to Unreal Engine 4, hit save. Now in order for this to work, under Atlas you want to make sure that you clicked the everything option and that allow V wrapping is enabled. And then click OK. Just letting it compute. When I open my file browser, you'll notice that instead of having the barks as a separate texture, everything is condensed in one atlas. That is it for this video and thank you for watching.